everyone. Michael, today you're going to have a very cool profession. I even envy you a little bit. I'm probably going to meet a zookeeper and watch animals. Nope. Circus? No, not a circus. Last try. Farm? Am I going to a farmer? Yes. Hooray! So, the magazine. Is this a fashion model or...? No. Okay, well, perhaps this is the editor of the magazine or a costumier. Why did I choose for Sonia to meet a photographer? Because all girls like to take pictures. Invite. Now, this is a great location for an office. Lots of fresh air, and this is an unusual farmer. A farmer with a manicure, Angelina. Greetings, Michael. Hello. shooting, but unfortunately not as a model. Hello, Sonia. Meet Lara. She is a fashion photographer. She photographs cool brands and cool people. Well, let's go to the studio. Let's go. By the way, I got the masking tape, just like you've asked. Great. We'll need it. Shall we go? Goodbye, miss. Is it true that the larger the photographer's bag, the more lenses it has, the cooler the photographer? No. A photographer can use absolutely any equipment, any camera, and the result can be completely different every time. Is it true that just adding a filter is enough to enhance a photo? Sometimes yes. For example, on an iPhone, you can do it very quickly. But I believe that in order to bring a photo to perfection, you need to know photo editing apps like Photoshop and other programs. Is it true that a cool photo shoot can be done simply with an iPhone? Yes, why not? Now it seems to me there are no boundaries whatsoever. Do what you want, create as you wish. Of course, um, there are different resolutions available. But I'm sure if we take a picture with an iPhone right now, it would be beautiful. Why not? Is it true that if a person is tense, it will be noticeable in the photo? Now, Chandler, you want to give us a smile? Okay. Yes, it's true. It is always noticeable in videos and photos. Is it true that typical farmers are men with worn out hands? No, it is not true. You see me in front of you. I'm a woman. My hands are in order, but I do have some blisters. Is it true that farmers love animals? Sure, it is impossible to tend to animals without loving them. Is it true that farmers hate cities? No, not true. Farmers are neutral to cities, because cities represent civilization. Is it true that all farmers get up with the roosters? <coughs> it is true. Farmers wake up at 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning. Aww, what is your camel's name? The camel's name is Vasily. What? What, what, what? And the cat's name is also Vasily. And roosters are all Vasilis. It's easier to memorize nicknames this way. Wait, he's getting close to the cabbages. Vasya! Why are you eating my flowers? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get lost. Quickly, quickly. Vasya, come on, come on. Pow wow. How and when did you decide to become a farmer? Seven years ago, I had two babies and they had health issues. I was looking for good quality, natural products. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to find them and decided to grow them myself. How did you start your farm? What did you start it from? I started with breeding quails and guinea fowls because they produce food with necessary nutrients for small children. Why did you choose this particular site? I initially started on a smaller site and only then decided to expand. There is a field in this village which is a necessity for cattle. It provides them with food. And then there is um, much more space for farm development. What is your typical day on the farm like? In the morning we milk, clean, feed and water our cattle. Then we do further work in the garden and adjacent territories. In the evening we do another sweep up. Then again we feed and water the cattle. Something like that. Pretty much is like the Groundhog's Day. How do you manage to take care of all the animals? I try to manage my time wisely. Planning helps a lot to run a farm. How and why did you decide to become a photographer? I started taking pictures when I was a child. 
and I even won a chocolate bar at the exhibition at the Darwin Museum when I was your age. I don't remember which one, I have to ask my mother. Then I started photographing people. My friends, actresses, different girls, musicians, and, um, and I did it all absolutely free, just for the sake of beauty, for art. And then I realized, why not start making money of it? What or who are your photography? I do fashion shoots, I work with different brands, I photograph clothes, I just shoot ordinary people, men and women. How do customers find you? Often through friends, through Instagram, but rather more somehow it all started like a, a word of mouth. You should not be ashamed to write and ask. I myself often write to people and offer my services. Do you have a personal veterinarian? I do have a veterinarian that works part-time. I study and learn from him. If you are a farmer, then you need knowledge of veterinary medicine. I plan to get a degree in this field. It is impossible to manage a farm without this knowledge. What kind of education did you have before that? I'm an accountant and a manager. Does it happen that the client is not happy with the results? What do you do then? Honestly speaking, I did not have such a thing that someone was directly dissatisfied. Rather, when it is some kind of commercial shooting or it is some kind of clothing brand, then the customer um, has some certain notes and edits in terms of angles or some similar things. You said that if a person is tense, you can see it on the camera. Tell us. How to help a client to relax? Do you have your own tricks? Yes, you can easily relax a person, for example, with a compliment. Like, you have very beautiful eyes, hair, etc. During one shoot, I had to start jumping. Literally, I was jumping together with the model, who was not a professional, um, to help her to relax her body. Just because she couldn't relax at all, I had to start jumping with her, so we were jumping together. What kind of products does your farm make? Dairy products, some meat products. We also do various fermented milk products, such as kefir, butter and sour cream. I grow vegetables in five greenhouses, six by three meters and a large one of 27 square meters. Does the farm bring you income? Do you sell your products? Yes, of course I do. My farm lives on the surplus products that I sell and it brings me some small income. I already have a list of clients. People come and pick up products from the farm. Does the photographer work alone or does he have a team? In fact, all photographers work differently. There are photographers who work alone, without a team. As for me, well, generally I love working with a team. Each person in the team has his own function. A makeup artist creates makeup for models. There's a hairstylist who does hairstyling. Sometimes a hairstylist and a makeup artist are the same person. It's quite useful to have a clothing stylist during the shoot, um, because this person can create a look in advance. And it's important to understand that our everyday clothes and the clothes in the frame can look completely different. It is very cool when there is an assistant. I don't have one and I struggle a lot. By the way, I'm looking for an assistant. Well, that's because I'm just 163 centimeters tall and it is quite hard for me to manage equipment in a studio or outside. Just by myself, it's a bit difficult. An assistant would be very cool and is very important and a quite a necessary profession. By the way, photographers often, for example, use the services of retouchers. Retouchers are... Do you know who they are? No. They're actually Photoshop professionals, people who process photos after photo shoots. Do you buy animals? If so, where are they bought and how much do they cost? 116, wake out time, wake out time, and get 70, 71, 71. Yes, of course, I buy my animals. Good animals are very expensive, and this is not Moscow or Moscow region. You have to travel far to other regions. All cows are different. My cows give little milk, but the milk is fatty, concentrated, and very tasty. How did the camel get to your farm? 
I saved Vasily. He was in a very tough situation. He did not have a roof over his head. He lived in a dung hill. So he used to tear up dung and the manure gave evaporation and thanks to this he was able to keep himself warm. The volunteers turned to me so that I could save him. They knew that I had some room here on the farm and uh, it was a big rescue operation. What's your schedule like? Most often I make my own schedule. That is to say, I arrange photo shoots with my clients. At the moment, I must confess, I only have about two, three photo shoots a week, and you understand why. How long does one shoot last? All my photo shoots uh, start at the minimum of two hours. I don't book clients for less than that, and sometimes shoots can take up to maybe six hours. Check in. Michael, I have a task for you. I need you to collect eggs, because that's what a farmer does every day. Well, I am going. Michael, you've done well. You did it. Show me how many eggs exactly you've got. Exactly ten. We will try now a classic version of shooting. We are now standing on the cyclorama, it is white. This is a camera, look, this is a lens, and you can change it. There are a lot of camera lenses, everyone chooses a lens for himself, depending on which one he likes. It is a synchronizer that syncs with a pulse light. And here we see the settings menu. This is the button with which we make click click, and it turns out beautifully. Masking tape is for shoes, so they won't stain the cyclorama. Black marks remain and it takes a lot of work and time in Photoshop to cover them up. Well, shall we start a photo shoot? Michael, what do you think? Is it possible to grow watermelon in the Moscow region? I think, yes, you can. Well done. Indeed, in the Moscow region you can grow watermelon, but only in a greenhouse. Because it only grows in warm climates and doesn't like rain, it grows up to 7 kilograms. Can you imagine? Will there be watermelons this year? Sure. What do you think a lookbook is? Well. I don't know, probably something in the camera. <laughs> well, a lookbook is a type of fashion photo shoot. It is um, a beautiful advertisement campaign for a brand. Challenge. And now the traditional challenge. You told me that a photographer has to take different poses to get a beautiful photo. Let's try. The first pose is the lotus pose. Well, this is easy. Now let's try with our eyes closed. You've passed! And the last, lying down. Challenge completed! Ah! You will prove to us whether it is possible to milk a goat with such a beautiful manicure. I'll milk. Show and prove. To make a goat's milk less smelly, you need to thoroughly wash the udder with warm water. And uh, during milking, I use a hair net. I put it over the bucket to make sure the hair doesn't get into the milk. First, we wash the udders. First, we wash the udders. We need to wipe it with a dry cloth. The first drops of milk must be milked on the floor. Take it with your fingers, just like an envelope. Squeeze your fingers here. I don't. You see? And milk is coming. Whoop. A very thin flow, in fact. Well, you need to adjust. 
Can I see how much you've milked? Well, now that's daytime milking, there's not much milk. Okay. Tasty. Sweet? Yes. Is it really tasty? Well, it is a good milk. Blitz quiz. What did you dream of becoming as a child? Customs broker. I dreamt of becoming a fairy and spreading peace around the world. What's the coolest thing about your profession? Freedom, creativity, new people, emotions. If you were offered another job with better earnings, would you quit yours? No, I will develop myself here. No, I wouldn't. Definitely not. What do you hate in your profession? Long post-production and long, long retouching. Instability. What is your greatest success in the profession? Presenting this profession in a modern way. What's your biggest setback? Once I had a big photo shoot and during the four hour shooting, I managed to delete all the photos and I had to redo it all. Awful. Sometimes the crop is lost, does not germinate or animals have health problems. Do you feel happy when you work? Sure. Yes, I feel definitely happy. Very happy. Are your parents proud that you become a photographer? My parents are generally proud of me, even if I were not a photographer. Emotions up. Thank you for showing me this profession. Could you give me a grade? Vasya, should we give Michael an A+. Plus? I really liked it. I collected eggs, milked a goat, made friends with a camel, and learned a lot about farming. I didn't even know how many life hacks and features professional photographers have. Lyra is a great photographer. I really liked it. Misha, give me your phone. I'll take a picture of you and make you a cool profile pic. What for? I already have an awesome panel photo. Okay, then subscribe to our channel, like our video, write comments, press the bell button and promote our video on trending page. Thank you all for your views. Bye bye everyone.